for me, all this content I've been making is you, most people have a problem that they don't even realize, which is this retirement thing. So I said, all right, I'm going to start giving them the, the understanding of the problem. So when you look at the content I'm putting out right now, a lot of it is educating people on the current system, the money system, the, the way the banks work, the way the financial system works, the way stocks, real estate, crypto works, right? Because these are the asset classes that most people are able to, to buy. And the banks, everybody has their money in a bank right now. So th there's a lot about banks most people don't understand. So all of this is me educating people on the problem. So if you're gonna create any idea, you kind of have to figure out how to find people with the problem. If you're just relying on advertising to build a business, that's not a good business because as soon as you, you, you stop advertising or you don't have enough to keep the advertising going, your business is out of business. You need to figure out a problem that once it's solved, people wanna tell other people about. So again, if I figure out how to have you invest by just paying your bills, you're not gonna tell your, your significant other, your kids, your grandmother, your parents, that they could be doing this, right? So that's kind of why I'm thinking it's, it's a viral opportunity of a problem. And I think that's the best type of problem to solve. If you can figure that out, not easy at all, but if you can figure that out, that's a good uh, type of business to start. And of course, because we're dealing with AI now, every problem is solvable. Literally every problem is solvable now because we have the tool that can help us solve it, right? So where, where am I now? I'm basically, like I said, we're building the UX. Um, I'm using software, Adobe software. I'm sending it out to my team. Eventually, I will have a, a little small external team that I'll bring in to, to see the UX before we code it up. Um, also, the bot is running right now just for me. I'm, I'm using it to pay my bills and it's retiring. I mean, it's um, uh, investing for me every day. So every morning, it checks the market, it invests, Based on how much money I put in, it pays my bill automatically. All of that is happening right now, just for me though. Um, one reason is I'm willing to be the first person tested because if something breaks, I don't want anybody else bills not to be paid or something not to happen, right? So of course, if you're an entrepreneur, you can't sell something that you're not willing to do yourself, right? So I've been doing this by hand for a year and a half now I got the bot doing it, right? So I'm doing it by hand on myself, but now I got the bot doing um, some of my bills, right? I'm, of course, I'm not gonna do everything, I'm testing it too. Once I get all my bills in there and all the partners and, and, and um, uh, team members have bills in there and we've tested it, then I'm gonna bring it to the public. Of course, that's how you gotta do it, right? You don't wanna be the person that puts something out and then, then the money disappears and people are looking at you. Even though this is another big reason I did decentralized finance. When you look at what's happened in the crypto space in the last year, right? In the last year, crypto has got a bad rap because people have been stealing money. How have they been stealing money though? They've been stealing money by hiding their transactions. So the reason why I'm doing this on the blockchain is because everybody's going to be able to see we're not touching your money. Your money's in your wallet at all times. You want to do whatever you want with your own money, you can do it. We're not able to do anything with your money. We can't go into your bank account and take your money like, like a bank can, a government can. Nobody can do that on, on decentralized finance world. Nobody. So that's where we start to move away from the current system, right? The current system... There's a lot of stuff, and this is where like my content every day is really talking about a lot of that. But right now, I won't get into everything, but right now, the system is pretty much rigged against anybody who's not filthy rich. And if you even look at people that are filthy rich, look at what happened with Kanye. Kanye had, he said something that he shouldn't have said in the media, and they stopped his bank account. That's pretty crazy. He's a billion, He was a billionaire when that happened. So to, for regular people, what, what does that mean for us, right? So I look at all that and I'm saying, okay, this, this system needs to change. Of course, it's going to take a while, but there's things in place right now. Developers, smartest people in the world have figured out ways 
to let you move money in different ways than only the traditional ways. So now I have to come up with a way that says, why would you do this even if you don't believe in crypto? And that's where I said, look, you have to pay bills every month. Why not try this? Your bill's getting paid. If your bill doesn't get paid, then stop using it. But that's literally, you're going to see on the blockchain that your bill is paid. So it's not, you know, and the money is there. You're going to be able to see all of it. It's not, there's nothing on an inside company that we hide. And also, only you know your wallet address. You know, not like the whole world is going to be able to see every transaction you have. Nobody knows your wallet address. Even us, we're not going to keep the wallet addresses. It's just the blockchain. Just, that's how blockchains work. They basically do stuff. And if people want to know it, they know it. And if you want to give your address to somebody, then they can see it. But if you don't give your wallet address to anybody, nobody can see it. But it's on the blockchain for you. That's the transparency for you. Us as a business, yeah, we will want to have a lot of our stuff on the blockchain so people can see. Because of course we're gonna we're gonna get fees for doing this, and we want to we want to show what we're doing with the money. We're gonna try to do um, different things. I won't say everything right now because again it's very early, but we want to have it as transparent as possible, right? And these are all fees based on our work we're doing. So it's not like um, we're taking investor funds and doing anything with it. Like what banks do. Actually, banks do this right now. You don't even know it. You most people don't know it. You put your money in the bank, they lend it out immediately and then they give you part of that interest very small part of it so they're using customer funds to make more money we're not going to do that you use your own funds to make your money we just get paid for a service software as a service is called is called sas s-a-a-s software as a service right so that's our business model all right so what's next of course we've been talking to potential investors mostly accredited investors, which is another big problem I have with AI. It's not fair that only super rich people can invest in this technology because this technology is going to disrupt so many jobs that it's pretty unfair that regular people can't invest because if I'm a person that this job is going to, that's going to take my job, why can't I invest in the thing that at least is going to take my job? So when it makes money, I make some money off of that. But right now, that's not how the system works. And if you look at stuff like OpenAI, who were the investors? Elon Musk, you know, people with billions and billions of dollars. They're the ones that are going to own this. And guess what their terms are? They can, they can make up to 100x return on their money. I don't know about you, but there's very little things you can invest in and get 100x return. Yeah, crypto, in certain scenarios, you could. But it's rare. It's very rare, right? So these ultra-rich people are already able to take the, the game-changing technology, own it, and profit from it, and we will only be able to use it. I don't like that, and I'm working on ways of that not being the case for what I'm building. That's another big thing. Regular people need to build more products because if the rich are the only ones building these products, the divide could get more, more and more like huge because what's happening now right the rich have been getting richer for a long time but now if the job starts shrinking and the rich are the only ones investing in the things that are doing those jobs they're profiting ridiculously and the people who can't are going down and down and down that's that's a scary situation and already open ai is testing universal basic income so if you don't know what that means Universal basic income is the government gives you a certain amount of money every month because they know most people can't cover their bills. So OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, the, the thing that's going around crazy all around the internet, they are already doing the biggest UBI, universal basic income test in history right now because they realize what they're about to put out into the world is going to, to screw things up. So why why are they limiting the money that investors can make? Is because they wanna use the money they make for UBI. But again, there's seven, eight billion people in the world. If you're giving everybody even $1,000, 
That is a lot of money a month. It's like trillions of dollars a month. And that's just a thousand. So if we are going to wait for UBI, one of my worries is the number is so low that you can't live on. the same like Social Security. Like, like I said, the Social Security average is like $1,700. Like you can't live off that. So as an old person, you're not getting a job. So you got to live off that $1,700. Now, what happens if you're 27 and there's no job for you? And the government's like, don't worry, I'm giving you $1,700. Or not even, 500 What are you going to do?